Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. In the last episode, we were down here and we befriended Susie Jin, the Sushi Jin chef who uh, had basically got this place from his father. And, you know, his father had passed away unfortunately and he was having some real difficulty believing in himself. So we helped him with that. We befriended him all the way and it ended with him uh, feeding a basically a restaurant critic and him loving the food. Uh, then we went and we ate at all of the restaurants and the bars in Camarocho because we got the bottomless stomach uh, uh, feet here, or the bottomless stomach perk, basically, at the shrine, which allowed us to eat even when we're full. And when you eat at every one of these restaurants, uh, it will give you a CP, or a completion point. So it's it's really worth it. So I did that off camera. You're not going to see, you didn't see that in the episode, because I was not going to subject you guys to just seeing me basically become a gigantic glutton in the game um we also went around and where was it it was uh here we ran into uh someone at the erotic video store who had fell in love with a uh a one of the models of one of the videos and we went over here to the korean barbecue place we actually found her and they met except the girl that was in the video was not the girl who was here and some stuff happened some guys, some other guys hit, tried to be kind of pervy and hit on her and we had to step in and fight them. And yeah, go check how that, that uh, story ended. And then as we were walking over this way, we came across uh, a teenage couple in a fight and her boyfriend asked us to go and find out what's happening. Cause this girl, he had found out, you know, was, had a lot of money, which she d didn't previously have. And he, she was busy all the time and he was worried that she was selling herself. So we came down here and we found out that she was not selling herself, but she was a, working in a burrasera ring. A burrasera is the people who sell, you know, their clothing. And he, she was selling her underwear. And she asked us that she wanted out, but we needed to go deal with basically her, her pimp. And so we had to go all the way up here and deal with a, a, one of the teenage girls who was leading the burrasera ring. And she kind of fought back and said, no, I'm not doing it. And then some kind of really creepy guy threatened her with a knife and we had to fight him him and that caused her to to reevaluate and in in the ring so in this episode we're going to go on ahead and and finish out exploring kamarocho we really only have this section left to do uh we're going to be going over here to do disco eventually we're going to be doing the batting cage which is probably what we're going to do first and then we're going to be doing some little stuff over here i know there's something over here because uh, again i i've played through the first six chapters of this game so i do know there's something here which will be included in this episode but uh, again so the way this episode's going to work is the same way it was worked the last number of episodes for the sub stories is uh, I'll, I'll make cuts when it stuff happens but we don't have to make cuts right here to begin with because where we're going first here is the batting cage so let's do this actually uh hello uh getting a high score can win you cool prizes would you like to see what prizes we have yes let's see what prizes you have uh, the S rank is 32 points or more. You still shin guards, metal bat. Okay. Okay. Advent Yakuza training gear. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to play, but we'll... So let's start out here, because I think this is the... Yeah, this is the beginner course. Oh, I hit the play button instead of check out how to play. Okay. Well, nothing says uh, learning like doing, I guess. So I'm assuming it's... Okay, it's that basically. Okay. And oh my god, that was so early. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I got it the first time and then I it's coming at such a weird angle that I did not know what to do. Okay, let's now try and actually check out how to play. Uh, press X with the right timing to hit balls pitched by the pitching machine and score runs. Hitting the balls to the strikes, the target will count as running the bases. If you fail to hit a target, it counts as an out. After three outs, the game is over. The game also ends after 20 pitches, regardless of the number of outs. Hit a home run target uh, four times in a row to trigger a golden ball chance. Uh, the next pitch will be a golden ball. Hitting a home run with it will score four points. As the number of balls is limited, try to make the most of it. every hit to earn a single rank, uh, to earn a high rank. Golden balls chances are especially a good way to earn more points. I still have a feeling I'm not going to be good at this. Okay. 
because it comes at it comes at a weird angle and throws me off, man. Okay, this is not like regular baseball games where. Oh my god! Okay. See, it's that it's that slow curve that gets me. It wasn't straight on. Okay, that was good. Okay. Oh my god, is that slow curve again? <laughs> okay. Okay, oh well. We'll maybe eventually off all off screen, off camera, do some uh some working on, on that horrible uh I hear a, a card. Uh hello, the Ayu Sakurai type A card. Uh, off camera I will work on 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 for doing better at that like uh, some of these games I'm not that good at so I, I'll practice them off camera or at least uh, I won't include them in the the episode itself uh, and then we'll maybe do it later but that was that was god awful so I embarrassed myself in uh, that so let me go over here now and embarrass myself at uh, oh let's not fight them let's go embarrass myself over here doing disco now since uh, why not 2,000 entry for sure. We'll pay 2,000 yen. Why not? Here we go. Or here you go, actually. Uh, thank you. Please keep in mind that if you leave, blah, 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 you can... Okay, basically they're saying don't leave or you have to pay again. Nice looking place. I do know over here there is a bar. And I know that I can actually get stuff here. So let's fill out this. Again, I will cut when... Uh, Apparently, never mind, I won't cut. Uh, Maika, the bartender. So you like disco dancing? Yeah, sort of. If all that dancing makes you thirsty, come to me and fix, I'll fix you a drink. Uh, okay. Well, maybe not. There's just apparently a video clip. Uh, hello, I'll take that as well. I do not believe I'll be able to get all five drinks in. I might be able to get all five drinks in. It's gonna be close, man. I will be able to get all five drinks in, because that's not purple purple. Okay. Fantastic. Now I'm super drunk. Let's go make a fool of myself as I'm super drunk here on the disco floor. Alright. Also, let's listen for cards, because there might be cards in this place. That's a suit. I do not hear a card going off, so let's go and try and make... I, I think I did Disco one time in the last playthrough, I, or the, the last time I played this game about two years ago when I got through the first six chapters of the game. I, did, I do not believe I'm good at this, but we'll see. Uh, to dance at the disco, press buttons in rhythm with the song. Use the left analog stick to move your character along, or character's avatar to the square with the next input, and then press the corresponding button to show when its frame overlaps a square border. Okay. As you move your avatar, you'll see the number of steps it takes. The more steps you take, the more points you will get for the correct input. So try to take as many steps as you can uh, on your way to the next input icon. Squares marked as already stepped on won't be counted again. In the middle, in the upper middle of the screen is the fever gauge. Press L1 when it is full to trigger dancing fever. A new screen with a series of button inputs will appear. Press them with the correct timing to boost your score. To charge the fever gauge, keep pressing the correct icons with the right timing in, uh, in an unbroken streak. The voltage gauge at the upper right shows how impressed the audience is with your dancing. It directly affects what rating you get, so build your score to fill the gauge. The gauge will has four levels. Each level earns you another star towards your final dance rating. I don't care about versus mode. Okay. Yep, let's dance. Let's make a fool of myself because I do not believe I'm good at this game. Um, let's go with... Um, sure, Friday night. Let's go with easy because that's how little faith I have in my abilities for this. Uh, and we went over this. Oh boy, here we go. Da 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 da. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, I'm three, two, one.
Oh man, see, I'm not good at this. Okay. I'm getting it too early, I believe. There, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I need to be careful. Okay. I know this. I'm not adding the most insightful commentary. I apologize, but I'm really focused on trying to actually learn the this game as not be complete ass at it. Even though I'm sitting here being complete ass at it. See, I the issue was I was too early, and now I've overcompensated, and now I'm always late. That was sucky, man. That was not good. <laughs> I was not, a, that was not a, that was not a three star, uh, rating, but okay, sure, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely leaving, thank you very much. Again, I will, I will practice this off screen and try to make a better show of it next time. Uh, so let us, we can't actually look at the world map or the, the Camarocho map while we're inside, so let's leave. Uh, let us, uh, I'll make a cut here and I will, uh, come back when we find something to do here in Komorocho. Oh, I was here at the arcade and I hear a card. It, you got an Emery Okazaki type A card. Okay. What is this? Looks like maybe a new game. Okay. And then that is just the same game. Okay. And is there anybody to talk to? I don't believe there is. Let me just double check. Okay, there's no friend to make here, but there is a new game. So let's go on ahead and, I guess, give the, this game a try. Space Harry. It's 100 bucks to play or 100 yen to play. Okay. Never played this game, so let's see how bad I am at it. I've embarrassed myself with batting. I've embarrassed myself with disco. Let's see if I can make it a trifecta and I've just completely embarrassed myself. Uh, fly with left analog stick. Rapid fire with X. Okay, basically. Uh, insert the coin. Press start button. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have it. Got it. Got the got the got the premise. Again, I don't know how I'm doing, but uh, we'll see, I guess. If you always keep shooting, I guess you're always going to be successful. Okay. I have no idea if what I'm doing is even the correct thing to do. I think I'm damaging him. Oh no, I did. Okay. Stage two. Giza. Okay. Oh my that that I'm gonna be honest, that killed my thumb to, to have to
Oh, I died. Oh, I still have another life? Okay. Okay. I oh. Okay, I have three lives, I believe. I'll say, this is absolutely killing my hand, though, to do this. This is a lot more pressing the of the X button than I'm used to. Oh, I flew right into that. Okay, that's it. It was nice while it lasted. Oh, but I did absolutely get the... I did absolutely get the high score of the game, though. That was not bad for my first uh, run-through, I'd say. Uh, yeah, let's exit. As my controller seems to just go to sleep. Okay, uh, we'll make a cut here, and uh, we'll come back when we find something else to do in Kamarocho. I hear a... There it is. Come on. Come on, pick it up. It's right there. Is this just not pick upable? I see it. It's right there. There we go. Uh, you got a Miku Abino Type B card. Okay. Uh, let's go this way because I before we go bowling because I know there is something over here. I don't want to fight you. Look at that hair. Hmm. Yikes. Hey, you all right? Uh, figures I would bump into some swaggering punk. Oi, oi. You're, you're, you're an old man. This isn't going to end well. Are you all right? Or, uh, no. What's, the, what's the big idea, yo? I, I'm sorry. Uh, der, watch where you step, shit for brains. You're not hurt or anything, are, are you, asshole? Uh, all, all right. If, if that's how you want to play it, want this to play out. Nani? Eep. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, n no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm in a rush, see. Uh, so please get lost, Jib punk ass so and so oh wow i'm shaking in my boots there you know want to be like elvis uh what just happened damned yankee well let's go see what the damned yankee wants hmm oh it's a whole you know Block of Yankees, apparently. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. Oi, I'm so freaking stoked, man. A rare street show by the Yoko Michi Silvers. You're right, those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this bitchin' crowd. They drew all these punks without any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo is uh, Yoko Michi Silvers' fucking rules. And they keep pants on, but I heard Yoko Michi Silvers are gonna hold a Q&A panel too. Oh, sorry, and keep your pants on, okay. Uh, no effin' way. They're famous for never saying a word, letting their music do the talking. I wonder what the hell they're talk they'll talk about. Sounds like some band's doing a big event here. Must be popul uh, popular with the local punks. Hmm. Oh, is he- he must be one of the band members? Is that- Hey, Elvis. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at those people. Holy cow, what are we gonna do? Oi. Hey, you. Uh, y yikes. Uh, gee whiz, pal. I nearly peed my herb. What you, uh, what are you doing chuffing around behind me, you, you ugly knob? Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi, who? Oh, you're the- you're that man. Uh, no, I should be apologizing for my own careless- I mean, uh, whatever. Piss off. Um, sure. Why are we looking, like, longingly and lovingly into each other's eyes? Uh, wait- wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Yeah, I have no idea who you are, dude. Uh, are you asking me if we've met before, uh, if we've met before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Oh, wait a second then. So you really don't know who I am. Willikers, what a relief. Who says Willikers? I'm sorry, I was rude to not introduce myself. Name's Kyo, but my st uh, stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in a band. 
Let me guess, the Yokomichi Silvers. The same band that young punks there are excited to see. Uh, aren't you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us. We're, we're doing a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Uh, good luck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? There, wait, please, sir, d don't go. Nani? Uh, maybe, maybe you can save me. Save you? Nani? <laughs> I, I love Nani. I, I, again, I don't speak Japanese, so if there's one thing I've taken from this game, it's Nani. As I take a little bit of a drink of something so I can talk, because I've now been talking for about four hours straight. And so... Uh, what are you even, uh, what, let's try that again. Uh, what are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd, but now we have to keep up this charade full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks, and the Yokomochi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. This whole style is called Yankee now. Hmm. There's more to running a band than I thought. So, what did you mean by me saving you? I, uh, actually, I want you to teach me how to be hardcore hooligan. Nani? Nani? Teach you to be a hardcore, y or t sorry, teach you to be Yankee. Yes, you see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel, a meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Yoko Michi Silvers, myself included, are law-abiding choir boys. We've never even shoplifted. If we were to talk in front of real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Fake punks, eh? Now... Now that you mention it, uh, the way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right, so if we spoke to our fans, we'd lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have a... Uh, okay, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either, but our agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might have to talk instead of just performing. But now... Ah, I got it. So you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one. But why me? Why? Well, that would be because you're my ideal of what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. Your razor sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude that says, touch me and get cut. And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I am Yakuza. Well, kinda. You can teach us so we don't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can teach us uh, Yankee wisdom that will propel the uh, Yokomichi Silvers to new heights of hool hooliganism. Please, if we lose this chance, the Yokomichi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Okay, then. Uh, okay, then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you so very much. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Uh, okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Uh, give me just a second, please. I'll, I'll, I'll go get the others. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. This is them. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I've never, I, I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. boob. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. I'm Aku. Hobby's caring for el elders. Elders. Oh man, some of these sub stories are hard for me to read through. Is seriously okay. <laughs> Hobbies caring for elders, the bad boy. Okay, and this is Kirisan, who's going to impart the ways of true Yankee style hooliganism in onto us. Please teach us, Kirisan. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no, no, no! Please, please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please uh, help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. Yeah, guys, this this is gonna be a problem. Your sleazy drummer, sleazy whatever his name was, never even seen a boob. Bad boy Aku likes to help old people. And and what was I forget what you you are, but I mean, this is this is bad. 
but I did agree to do this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. Oh, yes, please. Oh, uh, how can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. An opening remark. Yeah, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, curious son, I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Man, nah, start your engines. That could work. Hello, but in English. That theoretically could also work, but probably the best option is start your engines. Why not open with start your engines? Start your engines? Oh, like, ra like a racing term. Right. The Yankee movement is inspired by Western greasers. They love their wheels. So true. That does go with the Yankee lifestyle. Uh, so I should follow up with something like, you get my pistons pumping, don't you think? Uh, yeah, that's good. It wouldn't hurt to throw in something like ram it into overdrive either. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know about that one. I'm so glad we got your advice, Kurosan. Oh, oh. Oh, Kurosan, Kurosan, question. Uh, yes, uh, Sleazy Tarashi or whatever your name was. Yeah, Sleazy Tarashi. Uh, well, the agency told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense the fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day. Tarashi, how would you spend a day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Chibi Chan, to the park for our mid-morning stroll. Nothing wrong with pancakes. Maybe not say, you know, call your darling puppy Chippy Chanda. Maybe don't mention that part to to you know the 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 fans. But okay, and then we have a lunch at the uh, at a cheek uh, cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on dramas I've got on my VCR until it's bedtime. Uh? You just described a typical girl's day, Nani. Uh, sorry, that's really what you sound like. A uh, that really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. I, I, I'm so, so, so scared. Oh, oh no, Kira-san, you shouldn't shout like that. You made Sleazy cry. cry. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh dear. I should say, shut up, bad boy. Uh, yeah, my, my bad, Tarashi. It's, it's, it's all right. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it is all. So, so, so about how would I spend a day off? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, one thing's clear. You can't tell fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then what should I say? What should I be doing instead? Fighting all day, hanging with mates, rescuing puppies. Hmm. <laughs> Just for the laughs, I want to see what rescuing puppies says. I say you rescue puppies on your days off. I rescue puppies? curious on. I'm not so sure I can picture myself looking cool doing that. Trashi, think about it. There are plenty of Yankees who just act tough and nothing more. They're a dime a dozen. But you guys, the Yoko Michi Silvers are street heroes. When real men get tough, rather than beating everyone up, they start wanting to protect the innocent. You're right. In action comics, even the grittiest heroes often fight to defend the league. That was probably not a good choice, but I... I I wanted to see a bad option for once. Uh, see, I told you, saying you rescue puppies will instantly win the hearts of the fans across the lands. I get it now. Letting people catch glimpses of compassion behind the savage exterior will give a commanding presence that irresistible to any woman. Kira-san. Hmm? You're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? Uh, what should I say? You don't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. They just told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, even though... He's practically mute. Bad Boy Akko even has a backstory. Locked up in juvenile reformatories from birth, Bad Boy Akko crushed packs of punks before he finished preschool. Hmm. Your agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Akko's a man of f a few words with a crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Uh, the time you crushed a gang, a funny recent story, or a funny recent event, or stay silent. Just stay silent, dude. If that's what's got you thus far, continue to do it. Don't you think it better be just to say quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel? Wouldn't a discussion without any talking be a disaster? Nope. Aku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but it would be worse if he were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. From Aku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he just kept his mouth shut. 
When you put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. That boy Aku is staying speechless during his part. Sure. Aku, are you good with that? Okay. All right. Now, we'll go over how you'll run this whole panel discussion. Yes, please. Uh, Yokomichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Oh, is it time? Or, I mean, fine, girl. Yikes. Uh, so sorry, I, I mean, you can come anytime you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. We're going to kick ass and stuff. Mm. Here they are. Put your hands together for the Yokomichi Silvers. Crazy Kyo-san, bad boy Aku, over here. Whoa, check out Crazy Kyo-san's original ESP guitar, smoking rat style. That man got the Yankee look nailed. Wow, they are popular. When they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. Sopping wet high rock and roll after school, Tarashi Aku. Hit it, boys. That concludes today's performance by the Yokomichi Silvers. Just listening to their songs, I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, we would like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band's members. Whoa, no way, no way. Crazy Kyo-san's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental. I can't fucking wait to hear what bad boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Yo, Grease Hounds! Where's the, where the Yokomichi Silvers? Start your engines! Yeah! Crazy Kyo-san! Cool your jets, bros. But I got a hand at Crazy Kyo-san. He knows how to rev us up and kick us into top gear. He totally fuck- He- I'm sorry. He's totally fucking ace. Thanks for coming and rocking out, cartoons. We love you all for your romantic rebels. You punk gets my pistons pumping here under the hood. I love you like my turbo drive. Fuck. Good. The fans are eating it up. Going with the racing terms paid off. Good choice. Oh god, here we go with the puppies. Hopefully that is okay. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Uh, next up, we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi-san and Bad Boy Aku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san. Here's your question we get from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Bruh, when I get a day off, I rescue puppies, mostly. Uh, Tarashi-san. What are you going on about? Come on, man. Can't you picture it? A beat-up cardboard box in the pouring rain and a cute little puppies huddled inside, shivering from the cold. Now picture Sleazy Tarashi-san tenderly holding an umbrella over the puppies using his broad back to shift them from the wind. <laughs> oh shit, it's too fucking cool. That one... That's what makes Tarashi-san the badass that he is. Hey, those little guys flip out and mob me when I get home. A little twerps are noisier than I thought. <laughs> he kept them? Fuck yeah. Good. The fans love it. Even rebels have a soft spot for puppies. Oh my god, I'm actually really glad I picked that option. That was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> thumbs up and everything. Uh, thank you. <laughs> let me com com uh, let me com try and get a little bit of composure. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, thank you, Sleazy Tarashi-san. To close it out, it's time for Bad Boy Aku-san to say a few words. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please go over well. Her. That, that was it? No way, he just stood there for his whole panel discussion? That's... That's... <laughs> Holy crap! Bad Boy Akusan's the coolest! What a rebel! He doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. That's what makes him Bad Boy Akusan. He rules! Good. It was the right decision to not let the quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take big talk to make a big man a big attitude speak louder than words. Here, son. Were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. 
Kira-san, we tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of Yankee to our panel. The fan response was fabulous. I'm still in shock. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. Uh, you guys learned well. I'm proud of you all. It looks like the Yokomichi Silvers will be shooting up towards stardom at the speed of light. We owe you big time, Kira-san. You got a wild shirt. Uh, that was the most fun I've had speaking in public. Kira-san, thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you taught us about the way of Yankee. We'll work on speaking skills as well. Keep an eye on us, Kira san The Okamichi Silvers are picking up another gear. Yeah, give it your best shot, guys. We will. And Sleazy Prashi, go see a boob. You stop, like, doing this thing of being nice and then being hard back to back and the other guy, what was it, Bad Boy Aku, just continued being quiet. But continue helping, I guess, old people. That's a really, I guess, admirable quality. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough roads of entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. Oh, uh, I realize that I've been getting a lot of stuff off of these sub-stories, and I've actually not looked at some of the equipment. So what are, what are some of the other equipment we got? Not as good as anything, so that's doesn't it not that's not important. Uh, and then what's this? Um, this charm is said to increase your heat when you're in a jam. Sober up quick. Okay, that actually would have been fantastic when I was like going around drinking. Uh, but I no longer need that. Okay. Oh well. Um, again, I'm gonna make a cut here, and I will bring us back when we find something to do in Camarocho. You're here at the bowling alley, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let us play solo. 500 yen, perfectly fine. How many frames? Uh, you know what, let's play the full 10 frames, why not? At least once. Uh, select the ball. And then I know how to play this. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know this game. I, this, this this is the one thing I I remember from the last uh, time I played this a couple years back. This is not me, by the way. This is this is uh, the tutorial. Okay. Here we go. Now let's see if I can remember because there is a specific way that you can actually get a almost guarantee a strike every time. I believe it. If my memory serves me correctly, it's all the way to the left with this ball, and then hit A back to back really quickly. As my controller disconnects, I, I believe. Oh, come on, controller. We're not doing this. I'm not allowing you to. There. Okay, A back to back really quick. And I believe maybe that should work. Okay, no, okay. I will work on perfecting that in a minute. Okay, and that needs to actually probably go over about two spins. Oh, that only needed to go over one spin, actually. I completely missed the number one pin, which is the easiest pin to, like, hit. That's actually... That takes talent, man. Okay. Okay, that actually looks like what I needed it to be the first time. I believe that'll strike. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? Come on. At least let's get a spare. Uh, one spin over should do it. Oh, come on. Okay. That should work. I am angry at myself, man. That sh Maybe it wasn't this ball. Maybe it was the eight pound ball. Oh, that was not good. That was not quick enough. Okay, that's gonna be like a, I'd assume a three spin. Oh, this is not going well, man. Okay, well, maybe, you know what? Let's, I guess, stop this altogether. together. 
I'm trying to get a better idea of spin. So that should be a three spin to get to those pins. Okay, yeah, okay. So I think I got an idea of, of spins now. Okay, let's go all the way up to the... What's the heaviest pound ball? The heavy tank. And... Stop. And... Boop. And then, what? I'd say three spins over. Oh, that was actually not three spins. It probably needed to be a little bit more. Okay. And that's going to be a, I'd say one, a one spin to the left. That was not a one spin to the left. Okay, we're not using heavy tank anymore. Uh, let's use this. Uh, that looked like a, maybe a one spin. Oh, come on, man. Controller, I swear to God, I will throw you across the room. I do know in th that there is something coming up, maybe not in this chapter, but in one of the upcoming chapters where I have to get three strikes in a row for something. That's going to be a pain in the neck and a half. Okay, let's go with this. And let's see how that does. I am just not having a good day, guys. At least I got a hundred. That should move quick. Mm. And completely missed the first pin. That is so much talent that I've apparently, I think I've missed the first pin on like almost every one of my bowls. I guess one spin. Mm. Are you kidding me? I think that'll make it. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. That looks good to me. Mm. Maybe. Come on, come on. I just want one strike. Are you shitting me? Are you... That's... That's some bullshit. I am angry, man. That that should not have. Oh, that was that was some BS. Oh, that is a one spin. I believe, hopefully. Oh my God, I hate this game, man. I think it's probably going to be a one spin to the right a little mm. bit to kind of overcorrect for an error I made. Yeah, okay. Mm. And then one spin to the left. Come on. How about a strike to end it at least? Oh, you son of a bitch. I hate that pin. 143, yeah. Oh, this is a sub story I completely forgot. Wow, your bowling form is exquisite. You think so? It really is. The angle of your bottom when you release the ball is optimal. Uh, where'd you learn to play like that? I'm self taught. No way. That's just amazing. You know how to position your body the best effect your form? It's really delightful. Oh, I I'm sorry. Uh, it's just that I kind of have a bowling form fetish. When I see someone with good form, I sort of forget myself. I, I see. I guess this job's perfect for you, then. Hi. Yes, I think so, too. Uh, my name's Emery. I hope to see you here more often. Uh, you have to become a regular, okay? Yeah, maybe I will. I'd say it was nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, basically. Same exact thing. You can check stuff. Uh, so, 
like for every other one of these friendship things, I will, uh, I will now basically do this until we befriend her. So, uh, I'll make a cut here, and when we make progress in this, this sub story, I'll, uh, I'll cut back. Uh, it says that we have a special challenge coming up and everything. What challenge? Uh, just a little something special for our customers to promote the better bowling skills and sexy bowling form. Doesn't sound bad except for that last part. Uh, what kind of challenge is it? Uh, that's a secret. You'll see for yourself when the time comes. Okay. Did you have a good time bowling at our alley today? By the way, we will soon have a challenge for our customers. I'll keep you posted. Uh, sure, got it. An event is scheduled to take place at Mock Bowl. Your friendship with Emery will not increase until then. You need to make progress with Kamarocha Real Estate Royale for the event to start. Kamarocha Real Estate Royale is unlocked as you progress in the main story. Okay, so we have ended essentially for the time being until like chapter 4, I want to say. Um, uh, that friendship. Uh, so I will make a cut here and I will uh, continue exploring Kamarocha. And if anything pops up, we will... Uh, We'll cut back. All right. I actually found out that I explored around and really kind of walked all these streets and stuff and nothing really else popped up and we've been to every other place. So it seems like we're done for now. Um, the one area that I thought, which is over here, is apparently not happening. Uh, so I'm assuming we we'll probably have to wait for uh, the next cut scene. And so uh, this is what's going to happen because we did disco. We did the batting cages. We did both of those extremely poorly. And then we did this race and then we did some stuff here and we did a couple stuff uh so this what i have no idea what the episode length is because there's been so much cut out i i typically for these like to do three sub stories and i knew i know that's kind of a good uh amount for an episode uh so we did the, the yankee story and then we kind of did this but not really and these kind of also but not really so this is what we're going to do uh we're going to go ahead and go to our home and do a little bit of the main quest, which I believe will uh, give us a cutscene. I don't know how long that cutscene is, but that's where we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do because we pretty much have nothing else to do right now in the town. So uh, let's go on ahead and go. And then after uh, that happens, uh, we'll make a, a judgment of what happens. Uh, you can travel to Kiryu's apartment from here. Uh, yeah, let's call. Yeah, let's call it a day. We had a, a long day. We, you know. Got stopped in search a bunch. We helped a dominatrix and almost got arrested in a park. We, you know, helped an undercover journalist. We had a really, really busy day. Uh, feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened in the last couple of days. I know you're a low-level Yakuza, but this kind of looks like a really kind of shitty place for a low-level Yakuza to be living. I'm just saying. Oh, dude, this this is bad, man. And I know that we just bought the. I know we bought the the upgrade for you to be able to run infinitely, but that still doesn't mean you should continue to be smoking. でもお前が生きて戻ってきたの見てから、またすげえ勢いで冷麺食ってたよ。それまでは6つり黙って何にも喋らなかったんだけどな。いや、<笑> ああ、だがまだこれからだ。若頭補佐の3人のうちの誰かが空の一粒を手にするや。風間の親さんは組を追われる。それに俺の殺しのぬれぎぬも晴らさねえと。殺人未成されたらもう終わりだ。そのことな
てめえの身を守るためだだからよ正面切ってクゼから真犯人聞き出すってのは相当難しいぜ他のやり方考えねえと他のやり方いやそんなもんがありゃ苦労しねえか錦お前立花不動産って、yeah, 立花 might be able to help us. 立花不動産組を抜けた後、その立花って男が来たんだ。空の一つを手にするために協力しろとな。奴は俺の濡れ衣を晴らせるとも言っていた。おい、またきり。俺知ってるぞ、この立花不動産。What do you know about the Tachibana people? Tachibana Fudosa. Machini Jimisho Kamai t e のみややら風俗やら店がひしめき合って飽きがねえしかもそのほとんどを登場会の極道たちが仕切ってるだが立花不動産はそのカムロ町の鉄の壁に穴を開けることができるんだ okay, so they're at least well funded and, and have connections に繁盛してる店だろうが立花不動産が目をつけりゃ数日もたずに中の人間は追い出されちまう and powerful apparently 脅迫嫌がらせヤクザ顔負けのやり口で店潰しちゃ、秋になった不動産を転売するって話だ。They're, they're ballsy to go head to head with the Yakuza. お構いなしになる。Yakuza Yakuza 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 そのくらい厄介な連中ってことだけどそいつらがおめえの味方につくとなると面白くなるな信用できる相手ならの話だなんで俺を引き込もうとするのか立花の腹が読めねえなら明日少し突っ込んで立花不動産を調べてみようぜ探ってみる価値はある Yeah. There, no, there's no we. Yeah, you're still in the Yakuza. I'm not. I have to do this by myself. The next day. Okay.、Uh, maybe Nishiki's right. I should keep Tachibana.、Uh, I should accept Tachibana's offer, but I need more、uh, to go on before I can trust him. I should hit the town to see what I can find out about him. Gather info on Tachibana real estate. I, lo I love that every time, man.、Uh, let's go on and get, get out of here.、Uh, go back. Yeah, let's go back to Kamurocho. And let us quickly, because I knew there is one other thing that apparently was not popping. Because again, I played this game uh, uh, at least through the first six, six chapters、uh, about a couple years back. And I know there's one section, there's one sub story over in this top left corner. And it wasn't available during night. So I'm hoping it'll become available during day. So let's go quickly see if it is. And if it is, we'll include it in this episode. It's over this direction. And it does look like it's open.、Uh, new pocket circuit racers wanted. Want to have a race? Oh, hi there. How about some pocket circuit racing?、Uh, we're looking for more people to join in. Pocket circuit? What's that?、Uh, you race motorized motor model cars around a track. Everyone's doing it these days, young and old. The cars are small enough to fit in your pocket. Thus, the name Pocket sized race cars. Yeah, it's all the rage right now. This is the Pocket Circuit Stadium where races are held. 
The Bluebird Cup, okay. Uh, give it a try sometime. I'm sure you'll be hooked. Pocket Circuit, huh? That could be fun. Maybe I'll stop by later. Uh, we're, what, so what we're going to do is this episode, we're going to at least go do it once, and then we're going to leave and we're going to save. Next episode's probably going to be, I'd assume, heavily Pocket Circuit racing, because it's, it's a little bit of a lengthy thing. Uh, but we'll we'll at least dip our you know toe in the water at the end of this episode here as we're doing. Uh, so this is the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Looks like a popular spot. Oh, here he is. Here's the guy. Ah, who do we have here? Is this your first time at Pocket Circuit Stadium? Oh, there he is. This guy's decked out like a Christmas tree. Uh, yeah. Uh, I heard this new craze, so I came for a look. You're completely new to slot car. Uh, you're you're completely new to slot car racing, huh? Nice to have some fresh blood. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Pocket Circuit Fighter. I handle registration and race commentary. Commentary for the races? Of course. It's great. Uh, it gets everybody really amped up. So what's your name then? Uh, I'm Kazuma Kiryu. Well, buddy, I'll call you Kazuma-kun. Uh, Kazuma-kun? You don't mind if I call you that, right? We like to keep things informal around here, so everyone's coon or chan. So Kazuma Kun it is. Um, okay, if you uh, say so. You're a complete newbie when it comes to pocket circuit, huh? Uh, yeah, but I heard a little about it outside. Uh, you race motorized model cars, right? That's right. But racing them's only the beginning. Uh, customizing cars is where the real action's at. Customizing cars. Yeah, winning a race after customizing a car with all sorts of components is super fun. You can buy components from the Pocket Circuit Stadium shop over there. Uh, you might find components around town, too. Uh, you can make your own speed demon, Kazuma-kun. Uh, okay, I get the gist. Uh, some, sounds like there's more uh, this than meets the eye. I understand why it's popular now. There are rumors of awesome components available at the high-end dream machine vending machines, too. If you ever want to know more about Pocket Circuit, just say the word. I'm here to help. Okay, got it. Uh, thanks for filling me in. Hope to see you back here. I'll be waiting. Pocket Circuit, uh, Pocket Circuit does seem pretty fun. I should ask Fighter more about it sometime. But we're going to ask about it right now because we're going to do one race. Uh, hey, Pocket Circuit Fighter. Uh, hey, Kazuma-kun. Right, uh, Kazuma-kun. Uh, you decided to give Pocket Circuit a shot, huh? Yeah, looks fun. I thought I'd try it out. Awesome! I'm glad you stopped by, Kazuma-kun. Having a new opponent to race really gets my competitive spirit going. Uh, okay. Uh, commemorate your pocket circuit to be you. Here's a card to get you started. You're giving it to me? Sure, it's all yours. Pocket Circuit has its fair share of grown-up fans, but most racers are kids. I'd be stoked to see more people our age getting involved, so think of this as a little incentive. Huh. Well, I can't say no to that. You got the Gollum Tiger. Okay. Uh, you got slick tires and power motor, balanced frame, uh, regular gears, uh, regular battery, red blaze. Okay. Uh, let's have a race. I'll show you what Pocket Circuit's all about. Sure, sounds good. Yeah, this is, this is a tutorial. I know how to do this. Uh, let me introduce you to slot car racing. Uh, it's simple. Slot cars are placed in lanes, and the uh, one to finish all the laps first wins. This is, by the way, the tutorial. It's not me doing it. But you don't just stand there and watch. You can give your car a boost of speed. For example, right now, press triangle to use your boost. Triangle. Uh, now that's what I call speed. The number of times you can boost your car is limited, and it makes it easy to fall out of lane. Uh, just like that, your car's about to fall out. Press circle rapidly to get it back on track. Uh, phew, that was close. Pressing circle to save your car only works when you have enough energy in the top left gauge, though. So now you just race to the goal. Uh... Go line. Feeling impatient? You can fast forward the race. Press the right on the left stick to fast forward. Now you can save a lot of time, huh? That'll give you more time for more races. Okay. Um, 
that should just about cover it. If there's anything else you want to know, uh, just ask. We're about the same age, so I can tell you th a few things from experience. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, interacting with him will feel friendship. Uh, let us uh, enter a race. Yep, enter a race. Let's do it. Uh, the introductory race, the little race, was cut for the rookies race. So well, let's do this one. The introductory race. I am seven points over. Okay. Uh, customize. What can we drop? None of those matter. Um, we can drop that because that really does not look like it's super necessary. Can't do anything there. I need to drop, what, four more? That'll probably be good enough, I'd assume, right? Yeah. So let's go on ahead and, and race. No, you stupid moron. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, hold on. I am actually just decimating people. I want to... Okay, now here, we can boost here. Okay, hold on. Let's not go over. There we go. Oh, I'm just... Yeah, it's over. Oh. And I beat every... I, I don't suppose that counts as a win because everyone else did not finish. Oh. <laughs> Oh, everyone lost. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Okay, let's do it one more time. We don't even need to boost, actually. We're just going to win that race. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Go. Two, one, go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, that was so thrilling. That was a thrilling race there, Kazumakun. Come back for another race soon. Okay, so that is what we're gonna. Uh, we've got new parts in stock. Hmm. It looks like they got some brand new stuff at the parts shop. Win more races to get your hands on new sweet parts for your slot card and make it even faster. Good luck. Okay, so that is probably what's gonna be the next episode. Is probably a large portion of pocket circuit racing. Um, so let us, as I hear a card. Where's it at, though? Right here? Yeah, okay. Uh, you got the Luke Kanai Type B card. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let us save the game here at save 2, and say uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Yakuza 0. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It'll help uh, the channel out, and it'll help you out by telling you when a new episode of Yakuza 0 comes out. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to stay up to date. Another way to stay up to date is to follow me on Twitter, at the SSH Gaming. I will tweet when a video goes live. I will also have a, at the top of my Twitter pinned the upload schedule for the week, because I do record out a little bit ahead of time, so I do know the, what, what what is coming out uh, that week. Uh, and I might just retweet some other general gaming news. I will not fill your timeline with, with nonsense. I don't like social media that much, so... 
Uh, yeah, if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up button. You have no idea how much hitting the thumbs up button helps the channel, whether it be large or, or small. It really helps with the algorithm and everything. So if you like the video or you like me in any way, shape, or form, hit the hit the thumbs up button. Uh, yeah, in the next episode, we are going to do all, probably a, a good portion of pocket circuit racing. It might be the whole episode. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then if... Uh, if that is all we do, that's all we do. But if not, we'll continue on uh, maybe doing some exploration of Kamarocha, see if now that it's daytime, if more sub-stories pop up. And if not, we'll do the main quest. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.